I'm all finished. I went potty. I'm all finished. What? Your turn? Do you want to go potty? Okay, go to the go to the bathroom if you need to go potty. Oh, let's see. Is it your turn to go potty? Happy day, happy day. Stella's gonna maybe give you a kiss if you're not careful. <gasps> happy day, Micah. You ready to go to the grocery store? You wanna go? And we'll get a healthy snack while we're there. Or Micah, can you go get your socks? Go get your socks. Where's your socks? You know where they are. That's where the dirty ones are. We need clean ones. In here, over here, in this drawer. Do you remember where your socks are? <gasps> yes, that's where the socks are. Here you go. Let's put them on. And on my list for today as well is to get some pictures, finally for these frames that I have on here. I wanna get this wall done before I start Micah's room. Um, I don't want a bunch of projects going on at once and I'm really slow when it comes to getting projects finished. So I'm trying to get this one done so I can move on to Micah's room and then move on to the nursery. Can you sit up please? I'm trying to brush her hair and I can't get to it all. I can't get to it all. Baby. Huh? Baby. baby? Where's a baby? You don't know. Where's a baby? I guess this will do. That's looking good enough to me. I think there's a bow in the car. Can you stand up? <laughs> That's about how I feel right now too, girl. That is just how I feel right now. <laughs> One, two, three, up, up, up. Oh gosh, I missed the whole back of your head. <laughs> where did she, where, where? Micah, where did she go? Oh my gosh, you, you tricky little thing. You were sneaking around and I couldn't see ya. It was one of those things where I kept going back and forth and she kept going back and forth and around. What? What did you just say? Did you just scream something? No. We've got a Nakey, Nakey Austin in the hallway. I swear I heard you say, like... I said, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did it say that. Bad. It wasn't a bad thing. Jeez. Oh, poor Austin. <laughs> He must have like jumped out of the shower dripping wet. <laughs> Ran out into the hallway to make sure we were okay. He loves us, he loves us so much. <laughs> that is the most vulnerable position to be into when you're in the shower, buck naked. All right, Michael, let's go. <laughs> I've got my handy Ikea toolbox, got some nails, got my frame that I'm hanging, feeling like I'm feeling tired to be honest. I'm feeling really tired still. So I'm gonna put this one up on the wall right here. I thought it was just a simple, cute frame. Um, and I figured that we can put a picture of like Austin and I, and then maybe for now, two pictures of Micah, and then eventually a picture of the second baby. Just to kind of have all of us in one frame. It'll be so nice. It's gonna feel like we're a real family. Okay, let's get this going. Mm -hmm. Look at me, handy woman Jess. Here we go. Okay, I think I did it right. Oh, look at that, you guys. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Wow, it's like coming together. Look at this. Austin and I were talking the other day about how it actually feels like our home is becoming more of a home. And I really think the photos are gonna help a ton. I'm scrolling way back and we have so many photos. But I came across these, and these are from the day that I told Austin I was pregnant with baby number two. And I can't believe that Micah has grown so much, you guys. Let me, let me find a good one. Look at how much, that's a cute one. Look at how much she has grown. No wonder we were so like scared. She was a baby baby when we found out we were pregnant. 
Oh, my sweet little girl. Look at that hair. She had like no hair. But now like it really makes sense like why we felt like, oh my gosh, we're not ready for baby number two yet because she was still a baby, baby, baby. And now she's like a full grown toddler. It's crazy how much they change in six months. After almost three hours, Micah is finally starting to wake up. She took a coma. That wasn't even a nap. She was like a coma in there. Yeah, she's definitely up now. She must have slept so good. But I was getting so caught up in all the thousands of photos that that I was going through and I came across, I scrolled back like all the way down to Micah's birth and beyond and I came across some photos of myself when I was about this far along with Micah and I put them side by side to just give a comparison. Oh my gosh. Isn't that funny? Wow, with I'm Micah, like, she was much more tight and high. Uh -huh. Yeah, she was a lot high higher. And, and I wonder if it's because she hadn't flipped. She was still breech. So take a look. That makes a lot more sense to me. Yeah, I don't mean, I'm sure part of it is just because my abs are more stretched out now. But this is last night this was taken. And this was about two and a half months out from Micah. And I just look... Like I look so round here in comparison, yeah. just a little bit bigger and it's rounder. It's funny because last pregnancy, I remember when you were pregnant with Micah, we were joking about how you look like you had a basketball, a basketball. stuffed in there. But now, but now it's even it really more. looks like a basketball. Like, look funny? at how round that is. That's funny. And I know, it, like depending on the day, it can change and look different. But I definitely remember with Micah, I seemed like I was more evenly spaced and this baby I just feel like is sitting a lot lower in my belly and it shows it certainly shows my favorite part this is I, I know this. Isn't this the best? <laughs> no <laughs> hi sleepyhead you took a good nap you took a really good nap my mom was able to get everything she wanted to get done <laughs> and more <laughs> Hi. Oh, did you tell them what she did earlier? No, I didn't. You didn't? Uh -uh. Guys. <gasps> what did you do earlier? She is such a big kid. She signed that she needed to go potty. Well, she Well, she farted. farted. I wasn't going to include that part. She farted and we laughed. Yeah, she sh I almost said she sharted. <laughs> she farted and then Jess asked her, "Do you need to go potty?" and she went yeah. And so we took her in there, sat her on the toilet, and she went. Number two. Number two. All on her own. Well, not two. all on her own, but she went number two like a big girl, huh? Oh, she's embarrassed. Look, see? <laughs> I was trying to keep it nice, and now you've embarrassed her. <laughs> she's not embarrassed. <laughs> she laughs about her farts. <laughs> look at this. She doesn't even want to look at the camera. She's just like, eh, get me out of bed. You broke her what? spirit. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. That doesn't look like the face of broken spirit to me. Piglet? That was mom's when she was a little girl. Expand on that. Her. What? Because when you say mom. Mine. Mine. That was mine. Yours. Not my mom's. That was mine when I was a little yeah, girl. Yeah, so Jess's family came over last night. Well, her parents did. And they brought all these little tiny stuffed animals from when Jess was little. <laughs> It's a really cute set. I picked it out. I remember we were in Disneyland or Disney World and I picked it out because I thought they were so cute. It's the classic animals, so not like the modern versions of them. Let's see. You saw Piglet. Here's Eeyore and Tigger. And actually, Winnie the Pooh took a tumble. We were dancing too hard in the kitchen and Winnie the Pooh fell in the coffee. So we had to wash him off. He's getting pretty dry. He's clean. He's getting clean. But yeah, little Winnie the Pooh fell in the coffee today. But here they are. I just, I remember when I was a kid, I thought these were so cute and special because they were the originals. So now I'm really excited that Micah can play with them and enjoy them too. And she seems to be loving them. When my parents were here, we put them up on the fan and gave them a little ride. Should we put them on the fan, make them spin around? Yeah, you know what it means. Put him up there. <laughs> Ask dad to help you. We're going to make him spin. Who remembers this game as a kid? I certainly do. Here's the thing. This is going to be kind of like a game of roulette. <laughs> down in the comments right now before we spin it, which one do you think is going to be the last one to survive? Out of Black Bear, 
Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore. Okay, put them up there. <gasps> Are you getting excited? You're getting excited. <laughs> Is it gonna be fun? Whoa. I love when she makes that sound. Get so excited and she like squeals almost. Uh, it's like a very light squeal. <laughs> there they go, they're spinning. They're spinning. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, Tigger's, Tigger's the, the winner! One. Tigger won. I'm gonna go potty. Do you wanna go? Wanna come watch mom go potty? You wanna go potty? Okay, come on, let's go potty. Your turn? You don't wanna go potty. Okay, I'm gonna go potty. This is what we do sometimes, is if I have to go potty, and I have a few minutes to kind of have her in there with me because it does take longer. Then I say, I have to go potty. And a lot of times, like you guys saw, she'll point to herself and say like, me too, or you know, I'll make it known that she wants to try too. Otherwise, I just let her come in and watch. I'm all finished, I went potty. I'm all finished. What, your turn? Do you wanna go potty? Okay, go to the, go to the bathroom if you need to go potty. Let's see, is it your turn to go potty? Okay. Okay. Need a little help. And now we need your little seat down, right? Put your seat down. Okay. Why are you blowing in the toilet? I don't know. <laughs> don't do that. We're not teaching her to do that, guys. I don't know where she picked up on that. I have no idea. We started this whole thing maybe about a month ago, a little bit before she turned 18 months officially. Um, and we really haven't been pushing it. I don't feel like there's a rush. We still have to work on her being able to actually get her um, pants off herself, but we wanted to just slowly start the progress or the process and get her used to it. You gonna go potty? You going potty? She knows what to do when she's up there. Here, you be with her and I'll get from up here where it's a safe Did angle. Did I put you far back enough? Uh... Maybe a little bit farther back. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you're down there, is because you know how that aim and sit station works. Wait, can you go pee pee? Or are you all finished? What are you doing? Don't fall off. She, I think she's trying to take her pants completely you off. You want your pants off? There. Okay, now you can go pee pee. Now you can go potty. Nope, I think she's done. You done? You don't want to go right now? So when she says that she's all finished, I don't like to force her to stay on there. Um, when when she doesn't want to go because I feel like that might make a bad experience for her in a way and we're trying to keep it positive right now. But like I said, we haven't really started the potty training process. We're just getting her used to it. I know I keep saying that, but we haven't really started making it a necessity in a way for her to go on the potty. It's more so just when she wants to, when she kind of feels like it. We're trying to just keep it positive and really I think it is paying off to our benefit. We have no rush to get her potty trained. I'm still torn in between whether or not I want her fully potty trained before the next baby gets here because a lot of people said that she could have some really big regression after baby gets here. That's a really big transition. It really just comes down to there not being a rush. It's gonna happen at some point or another. I didn't think we would potty train until at least two anyways, and then and then we got pregnant again, and, and we kind of thought, well, maybe we should speed it up, but you're doing great. You're doing great just how you are. You wanna put on your pajam, your bottoms? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go. I am really happy that she pooped on the potty this morning because that is the second time she's done it. Um, but it was like, it's really good for her to know the steps, you know, like the farting, <laughs> as funny as it is. Like that is a sign, oh, maybe I need to use the potty. So that was really good to kind of put those things together, let her know, hey, you just farted. Let's go try to use the potty, and I think it really worked out. So I'm gonna make some dinner. Austin's gonna head over to a friend's house in a couple hours, um, probably around Micah's bedtime, and I am just gonna relax the night away. These are uh, these are some of my favorite nights when Austin leaves. Sure. <laughs> just kidding. It's just 
It is nice though having some just alone time for myself to just do whatever, whether it be like a face mask or watching my TV shows or just whatever by myself after you've gone to bed. And Here, wait, before you send them off. What? Look. <laughs> what about do it? Do you have some porridge? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. She's got those puppy dog eyes like crazy. Look at that hair growing. This is in. me uh using the new lens that we just bought oh, for yeah. our camera. We've and got a new lens. I've been it's having fun with great. it. And oh my gosh, she just looks like this would be one of those like Please. homeless kids. Like you just knocked on the door. Please could you spare some food? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We will see you next time. Oh, are you saying bye now? Yeah. Tell them who we're going to go see next week. You have no idea. We're going to go see our Austin and my new nephew. Six months old now, but we have yet to meet him. So they're in town. We get to finally meet them, and Micah gets to play with her two cousins. It's going to be so fun. I cannot wait. And my brother and sister are going to be in town, too. So it's going to be a full family reunion. It's going to be a blast. I cannot wait. So we will see you next time with my family. Bye friends.